Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahusha, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Must respect to you, brothers out there, that's preaching this word of truth and sincerity to the four corners of earth and the elect scattered abroad and the speckled bird. I want to say Shalom. As you see right here, this basketball player, Donovan Mitchell, I'm pretty sure all of us know by now, but um, pretty much here in this city, uh, brothers look up to him. So I'm pretty much doing this video since brothers in this city, you know, they love him, look up to him. Hey, choose this day your God. Who you going? Who you going to serve? Because this pretty much shows you that nobody is is exempt. Anybody can get it. All right. This is also talking to you, Donovan Mitchell. If you ever come across this video and all you other NBA players, NFL players, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans of our people that come across this video. Hey, choose this day your God. Are you going to choose Jesus Christ? The Christianity? Are you going to choose that money? Are you going to choose the real living power? which his name is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Yahweh meaning he is. Yahweh Shai is his son, which means he will save or he will deliver. That's the true names of the Heavenly Father and his son. When, when you speak about Jesus, who who you think about? So-called white man, blonde hair, blue eyes, dirty blonde hair, whatever you want to call it, man. He's all nice and kind and giving out rainbows. No, nah, man, that's that's not the that's not the Lord of the Scriptures. The Lord is an austere man, a man of power. He don't play no games, and he's coming back with power. So choose this day, your God. Are you gonna serve your how by Shem outside? You gonna wake up to your nationality that you are an Israelite? Are you gonna wake up to that? Are you realizing that the Lord ain't playing no games? You know, brothers and sisters that's watching this, man, anybody can get it. So if you want to be healed from this coronavirus, hey, man, it's time to gird up your loins, be a man, and get this truth while you can. Because there's coming the time where, where the real prophets, I'm pretty sure NBA players, NFL players, Everybody's and seeing the prophets out there preaching this word. Are you going to listen to them? We coming in the time where it's the biggest I told you so. All right. It's, that's, that's the time that we coming in. Now, this could be the end all be all, you know, this uh, coronavirus where it shuts everything down. And then they usher in the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. That can be it. Or this can be a trial run. And then another plague or another disease rolls in. And then all hell breaks loose. So what it really comes down to, man, this, this is the end all be all, man. Choose this day your power, who you are going to believe and trust on. Because the Lord ain't playing no games here. He, he's not playing no games. Like I said, brothers here in the city look up to him, buy his shoes, and want to be like him. You know, he played college here. So, hey, y'all going to realize, man, the Lord ain't playing no games, man. So let's get some scriptures. Let's get Joshua 24. I guess we can start at uh, 14, but I believe the point is in 15. Now, therefore, fear Yahweh outside and serve him in sincerity and in truth. So fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and truth. He's not a power that you should be playing games with. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve ye Yahweh Bashim outside. Plain and simple, serve the Lord, put away 
this Christianity, this this Muslim, hey, coming to the wisdom and knowledge and understanding Yahweh Bashim al Understand that you're Israelite, you're God's chosen people, and the kingdom of heaven is for you. He wants to give you the kingdom of heaven. Repentance is still open. It's like here, but we coming into a time where that that repentance stage a a is gonna is gonna um, fade away. All right, so let's get verse fifteen. And if it seem evil unto you to serve Yahweh Bashim al choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers serve that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Ammonite, Ammonites in the land in the land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh Bashim al so that goes for the elect. As for the elect's houses, all right, we're going to serve Yahweh Bashim outside. But for your other people, hey, make a choice. You're going to serve your money. You serve your pockets. Because when you serve your money, eventually you're going to have to get that mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. And you take that, hey, man, that's it. That's it, man. You're going to be end up uh, eating a missile. So choose this day your power, which you are going to serve. This ain't no game, man. We coming into some serious times. All right, we coming into some serious times, and the Lord ain't playing no games with you people. He's going to show his power. All right. He's going to show it. And so y'all going to learn the hard way, hey, it's time to fear the Lord. All right. I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it quicker. Let's get um let's do it this way. All right. Let's get um let's get Luke six and twenty. I love bring, I love bringing this out. Luke 6 and 20, and he lifted up his eyes. This is the uh, Yahweh Shah, who the world calls Jesus Christ. This is Yahweh Shah. And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are ye, poor, for yours is the kingdom of power. So you're doing this work, and, and you're not doing the best. You're not rich. Hey, man, it's all good. But even if you are rich, Hey, it, it just comes down to, are you serving Yahweh by Shem al By Shem meaning um, in the name, all right? But uh, if you're serving Yahweh by Shem al um, the Lord can have mercy on you in these days. But um, we understand that a lot of rich people, a lot of people that's doing good, hey, man, you can't serve God in manna. All right, we got to choose this day. It's nothing wrong with having money. It's nothing wrong with having money. It's nothing wrong with do, uh, doing good. But are you doing the will of the heavenly Father? Are you doing that? Ask yourself that. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be fi filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Amen. <laughs> hey this is self-explanatory. All right. You hunger now. You're going to be able to laugh. All right. Read Job uh, 5. Read uh, Isaiah 65, 13. All right. The servant of, of the Lord is going to, servant of Yahweh Bashim al is going to be able to eat. And they're going to be able to laugh at the famine. All right. But everybody else that didn't want to take heed, even if you're rich, man. Hey, that famine's coming. And the Lord, Lord is going to show his power that he ain't playing no games, man. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from the company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. So that's happening now. You got the house of David and the house of Saul. The house of Saul is waxing weaker and weaker and they showing their head and they going crazy. All right. Persecuting the real men of the Lord. 
But then, you know, this great tribulation, Jacob's trouble, which is coming. Hey, they really going to start coming after the real man of the Lord. They're hating us for the son of man's sake. They hated Yahweh Shai. They're they going to hate us. The servant ain't above his uh, master. It's not above his master. All right. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. Behold, your reward is great in heaven. So your reward is great in heaven, man. For in like manner did the fathers, did their fathers unto the prophets. Okay. Verse 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have your consolation. So you're rich in this thing, man. You're not serving the Lord. Hey, you got your consolation. You Israelites, you got your consolation. Because when you come back in the kingdom, you're just going to be looked at up as a, a regular man. But the real men of the Lord and the elect, hey, they're going to be looked up as a, a as Hollywood and, and, and a thousand. Man, you can't even put a number on it. Times better. Let's say that. All right. Our people's looking up to these NBA players. NFL players now, actress, singers, but hey, it's nothing compared to what you'll get in the kingdom of heaven if you follow the Lord and endure to the end, okay? So your riches on this side is nothing compared to what you'll have in the kingdom of heaven, all right? Even the two-thirds, even if they die, man, you know, they still gonna, they still going to be rich in the kingdom of heaven. They're just not going to be on the status of the 144,000 in the elect. So that's why it's uh, uh, imperative that you you choose this day your your power, which you're going to serve. You're going to serve your belly, you're going to serve that money, or you're going to serve your house by stream outside. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. That's coming, man. We coming into the time where it's the biggest I told you so. Now you either gonna listen to us or not. Woe unto you when all men speak well for you, for so did their fathers did to the false prophets. So you know you got these uh church leaders, T D Jakes and all them, Joel Osteen, you know, people look up to them. People speak well and <laughs> Very highly of them. People, people speak well and, and highly of LeBron James, Donovan Mitchell, and, and other players, man. But hey, man, if you're not following the Lord, that's not gonna, that's not gonna profit you. Okay, that's not gonna profit you. All right, let's get some more scriptures. Let's get Hebrews ten thirty eight. It's Hebrews 10, 38. And um, now the just shall live by faith. If any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. All right. So the just is going to live by faith and the just is going to endure to the end and keep on pushing his word until the famine of the word uh, uh, kicks in. But everybody that draws back, you know, they put their hand to the plow in this thing. Hey, man, they finish. Okay. They finish. All right, let's get um. Let's see what else I want to get. Um, Proverbs. I'll bring this out too. Proverbs eleven and four. Which is profit not in the day of wrath. So your riches, all that fame and glory, man, they ain't gonna profit you in the day of wrath. The Lord is coming back with anger. And the Lord is also sent his sword, which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. But righteousness delivereth from death. So you doing the will of, of the heavenly father. Hey, man, he's going to deliver you. Like I keep on saying, you know, Job 5, uh, Psalms 91, uh, Psalm 70, um, you know, Isaiah 65. You know, other various chapters. Right? Other various chapters. Um, let's get, um, 
Wisdom of Solomon. Eight and five. Okay, this is Wisdom of Solomon eight and five. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? Amen. This wisdom and knowledge, Yahbashim outside, knowing that you is a light, being able to break down these scriptures is better than these riches that you get on this side of the, of, of the world, man. All right, let me get a uh, select, get a, um, where you at, Psalms 8410, where you at, probably in my face, Psalms 8410, all right, for a day in thy courts is better than a thousand, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of power than to dwell in the tents of wickedness, self-explanatory. Because us that's in the know, we understand that earth, that the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. But the day in thy courts, all right, in the kingdom of heaven, is better than the day down here on earth, man. Even if you get a thousand years, man, it's going to be, hey, man, you can't compare it. Job 9 and 24, just for those, you know. Who are learning Job 9 and 24 The earth is given into the hand of the wicked He covered the faces of the judges thereof If not where and who is he Alright The earth is given into the hand of the wicked That's why we understand and, and see That the wicked is driving this earth To the ground Putting out these diseases Alright The Lord ain't playing no games man Let's go back to Proverbs Yeah, Proverbs. Let's get Proverbs 16 and 16. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? So, hey, man, Donovan Mitchell, other NBA players, this wisdom that we have of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Asai, is better than your gold, better than your money that you're getting, man. So choose this day your power. Are you going to serve the Lord? Are you going to be caught up? All right. And to get understanding rather than chosen silver. Hey, plain and simple, man. Plain and simple. Okay. Um, back to Proverbs. That's another one. Proverbs 23. What is that? Four. Proverbs 23 and four. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thy own wisdom. All right, labor to not be rich. Because we understand with these precepts that riches profit not to be. Uh, um, riches profit not in the day of wrath. And from thy own wisdom. So, you know, if you don't have this wisdom and you're all you outside, you lean into your own understanding, your own heart, and you're going to be confounded. Will thy set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. Hey, man. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. You see these entertainers, they get all rich. And then, boom, you know, they have no more money. All right, they're going bankrupt or whatever, man. Let's get a uh, Psalms. 17, 13, Psalm 17, 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Who's the wicked? That's Esau, weed him. Eat him. <laughs> weed him. <laughs> it's Esau, eat him, the so-called white man. Read Malachi 1. All right, Malachi 1 and 4. Other various chapters explains that Esau, eat him, and he's the wicked. Which is thy sword. So, hey, man, our people are led as a flock to the slaughter. So that's why the Lord put the spirit on his men to wake up out of that deep sleep and to give you this wisdom and knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Bashim al Okay. Let's um, keep pushing in this. Because um, we need to go. Actually, let me get. um. Micah 
Let's say Micah 2 and 10. It's Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. So why are you trying to uh, stack up your money for, man? Why are you trying to serve your God of money? Serve you how about assume you outside? Because this is not your rest. Our people is in such a depressed state. Our people is oppressed, man. This is a uh, um, captivity. This is a punishment that Yahweh Bashim Yashai has put upon our people so we can learn a lesson from this, all right? Because it's polluted, it shall destroy you even when it's sore destruction. Hey, so that's coming, man. Destroy you with a sore destruction. Choose you this day, man. Revelation 12 and 12. I'm going to try to go quick at it. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, the so-called white man, is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right, he knows that he has a short time to rule this earth. He's seen them chariots out there, man. There was a chariot out there that was bigger than the whole earth. Hey, man, the Lord is coming back. The Lord ain't playing. This could be the year that we get out, out of here, man. This could be the year. It could be early next year, but this could be the year. That's why you need to buckle up and start listening and learning while you can. Repent and follow Yahweh Bashim outside and follow the man of Great Millstone, the apostles and elders. They won't steer you into the wrong direction. They're going to give you the true understanding of the Bible. Okay. Let's see. Verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of power and have the testimony of Amashiach Yahweh So that's that red dot list. All right. They, they, they going to end up coming for us, but hey, the Lord said uh, uh, he's going to give his men that spiritual power, man. So we have nothing to worry about, man. We have nothing to worry about. Just uh, let me. Uh, I'm going to get that real quick. Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bashim from the west and his glory of the rising sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim shall lift up a standard against him. So that standard is coming. Now we do understand, you know, reading the scriptures, some men of the Lord is going to be martyrs for this truth. You got to be willing to die for it. But uh, for the most part, A, the elect has nothing to worry about in this thing, man. All right. The Lord is going to give you that crown of glory. Um, let's see. Yep. Let me go ahead and wrap this thing up. So for you people that want to be rich, hey, man, it's Revelation 13 and 16. He calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. This is the RFID microchip. So matter if you rich or, or poor, free or bond, and he's going to set up them chippy, uh, those chipping stations and he's going to make it mandatory. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for the number of a man. And the number is six hundred. Three score and six, 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 six. Okay. So you pretty much, if y'all take that chip, man, that's pretty much you signing over saying that um Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is your 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 God. Just so you can have a regular life, maintain things, man. You know? Hey man, you know, uh, uh we just got pushed through. We just got pushed through. Pray that the Lord keeps that spirit upon us. All right. Let's see. Uh, 
Revelation 14 to 8. Let's start right there. And there follow another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she made all nations drink the wine of a wrath of her fornication. Okay, everybody's following the, the democracy of, of Babylon the Great, which is America, following her ways, homosexuality and, and, and other things, man, and other wickedness. And the uh, <clears throat> Salaki. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead." forehead or in his hand the same shall drink the wine of the wrath of power which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation righteous anger and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb hey man this is why you ain't supposed to play no games with y'all by some outside man you want to keep your riches you got to get that mark of the beast. And you get that mark of the beast, the chip. Hey, man, that's your ass, man. You're going to be taken out. Let's get a verse four in this. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. This is 144,000 and the elect. All right, following Yahweh by Shema Sah. They're not following Christianity. They know that they're Israelites. They're not following, following um being a Buddhist or Muslim, they fall in Yahweh Shem They're not defiled with all these other doctrines. These are they which follow the Lamb, whatsoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto power and to the Lamb. Amen. That's why it's important to watch and pray that you're worthy to escape all these things that's coming to pass this world, man. Because it's coming, man. So choose this day your power, man are going to be caught up with their death and destruction or, or you're going to have the Lord by your side by following him and keeping his commandments. Luke 21 and 36, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. That's important, man. Pray that you of the elect. Pray that the Lord keeps that spirit upon you. And pray that you don't uh, uh, keep on uh, putting on uh, iniquity upon iniquity, man. Uh, since I got time, I'm going to keep on hitting some more. Amos 8 and 11. It's Amos 8 and 11 because this is coming, man. They shutting down things, man. This is coming. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come. Save Yahweh by Shem El Sai. Yahweh power. I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. So the man out there preaching this word, hey, eventually we ain't going to be on those street corners anymore. They shall wander from sea to sea and from the north and even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. So that's coming, man. Get this word while you can get built up in the spirit. While you can. All right. I'm going to get a uh, second Ezra 9 and I'm going to close on that. All right. Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. When thou seest the part of the sign pass, which I told thee before, then thou shalt understand that this very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made. Therefore, when there shall be earthquakes upwards of the people in the world, and we seeing that the real men of the Lord, the real people's watching, man, and, and they seeing this. These scriptures are true. Then thou shalt well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days which they, which were before thee, even from the beginning. For like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. The end is manifest. We've seen the end of Esau Edom world. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. We've seen this. 
Everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by his faith, whereby he believed. That's how you're going to be able to escape. Doing the will of Yahweh Hashim and having faith. The just shall live by faith. All right. Shall be preserved from the said parallels. So they're going to be preserved from this because they trust in Yahweh Hashim and shall see my salvation in my land with my borders, for I have sanctioned them for me from the beginning. So the elect has been called from the beginning who's going to survive out of this, man. Then shall they be in pitiful cates, which have abused my ways, and they have cast them away. The spiteful shall dwell in torment. So two thirds of our people that don't want to listen to the uh, men of the Lord. And don't want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man. They're going to be in a pitiful case in torments. For such in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Have you known Yahweh Bashim al Donovan Mitchell, and, and you other NBA players, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard? Have you known Yahweh Bashim al This This is the day, man. This is the day. You better wake up. You better wake up. Or you're going to be caught up in this destruction. You want to keep that money. Hey. That's going to cause you to get that mark of the beast. You get that mark of the beast. That chip. Hey. You, you done for man. For such as in their life receive benefits and not know me. And they that loathe my law. While they in yet liberty. And when yet a place of repentance was open unto them. Understood not but despised it. And here's what's going to happen. The same must know it after death by pain. Hey, so that's happening, man. They're going to know it by the death by pain. That the real man of the Lord, the prophets, that what we've been saying is going to come to pass. And therefore thou, be thou not curious, how the ungodly shall be unpunished and, and win, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Who the world is and from whom the world is created. Hey, man. Get into this thing while you can. The famine of the word is coming. Stay prayed up. Lord ain't playing no games, man. So with that, I want to give all praises going on to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. That will honor our apostles and elders a great millstone. Much respect to you brothers out there that's preaching his word throughout the four corners of earth. Shalom.